In lesson 32, we're going to learn about altitudes and medians of triangles. So we need to start with a couple of definitions in order to understand these. The first definition is median. What is a median? Well, a median is a segment who, in a triangle whose endpoints are on a vertex of a triangle and midpoint of opposite sides. So this line would be an example of a median. It goes to a vertex. Vertex is where two, where you have an angle, or where two rays or line segments meet. So there's its vertex. And then it goes to a midpoint of the other side. That's one median, and each triangle can have three medians. Here's another triangle, or median. And then our third median. So those are all examples of medians. Next definition is a centroid. A centroid is the point of concurrency between the three medians. So where all three of these lines meet, this point right here, that is known as the centroid. <clears throat> so now that we know what the centroid is, let's look at the centroid theorem. Centroid theorem uh, states that the centroid, right, this point right here, is located two-thirds the distance from each vertex to the opposite midpoint. So from each vertex to uh, the opposite midpoint, this line right here is two-thirds. This That would make this one-third. So from vertex to centroid is two-thirds of the total distance and then from the midpoint to vertex would be one-third of the total distance on that line. So if I broke it down using letters that would mean CP equals two-thirds of the total distance meaning CZ. CP equals two-thirds of CZ, or BP equals two-thirds of BY. BY is the total line. So the total is AX, so AP equals two-thirds of AX. So the one that has two-thirds distance is always from the vertex to the centroid. So now let's see if, uh, let's look at example one and see if we can solve a problem using the centroid theorem. Example 1 gives us this triangle and says in triangle LMN, line LA is 12, OC is 3.1, find LO and NC. So the first thing we need to do is find LO. I'll highlight LO. Okay. Well, if you remember from our definitions here, let's look back briefly, from the vertex L, to the centroid O, that is two-thirds of the total. Two-thirds of the total, and the total is LA. So that would be our equation that we use. Now let's look and see if we have anything we can substitute. Well, we know what LA is. So we can substitute 12 in for LA. So we do LO equals two-thirds times twelve. Alright, when we do two-thirds times twelve, we cancel and we get LO equals eight. LO equals eight. Now we need to find NC. Alright, let's see where NC is. All right, NC is the total line. So we need to find the total amount there. Let's look at what we know. We already know that OC equals 3.1. Okay, OC equals 3.1. So there's actually different ways you could solve. Um, if we tried to do our... Um, vertex format. Previously we've done something like NO 
equals two thirds of NC. Well, that leaves us with two lines, or two variables, sorry. And so we can't solve for that. So we've got to find a way to use OC. Well, we said that this is two thirds the distance. What about OC uh, from a centroid to a midpoint? Well, from a centroid to a midpoint, didn't realize I wrote that wrong. From a centroid to a midpoint, the distance is one third of the total. So we could say um, that OC equals one third of NC. OC equals one third of NC, NC being the total. Now we know now that we know OC, we can plug in 3.1. Substitute that value. Then from here, to get rid of one third, technically this kind of looks like this. We would multiply by three, multiplication property, and then when we multiply, we would get NC equals 9.3. And that is how you do the centroid theorem. That's all the math I'm going to do in this lesson uh, algebraically, but there's a couple more definitions to look at that we need to know. We're not going to do any problems for these, but just so you know, an altitude is another definition. An altitude is a perpendicular segment from a vertex to the line on the opposite side. So let's look at this triangle. This line is an example of an altitude because it goes from a vertex to the opposite side but it is perpendicular. So that's an example of a altitude and you can see the other altitudes. Uh, notice in this triangle it's a right triangle. So yes this is an altitude but also the legs are actually altitudes. Interestingly enough, and on an obtuse triangle, you would have to draw them outside. So if I went from a vertex to a spot outside, I'd have to draw the line exterior to the triangle. But those are altitudes. And then orthocenter is the point of concurrency of all three altitudes. So here is an orthocenter. Here is an orthocenter. And our orthocenter on the obtuse triangle is actually exterior to the triangle. But those are the definitions you need to know. Uh, and that uh, is all that we will do in lesson 32.